Do you want me to apply my drone over? Yeah, bro, this is sick. God, it's so cool. Yeah, I saw that ripped up water. Yeah, yeah. Like, normally that's not what you're looking for. But I saw that ripped up water. I'm like, that ain't thread pins. Fuck, <laughs> bro. That's a big fucking thread pin. Dude, let's look up. I love pursuing big fish. The more wild they are, the better. And at this time of the year, tarpon is the only fish I have on my mind. Now on any given day, being up early in the morning and seeing tarpon rolling on the beach is a beautiful spectacle. But when they're biting really good, it's even better. <laughs> yes! Dude, it feels good to be on one. Holy crap. I was wondering, where's my bobber? <laughs> yes, it feels good to be on a tarpon. Woo! I was letting him chill out while I was on the phone. I fucking got around him at the right angle finally. Hey! <laughs> nice! Now, I hope he stays tagged, man. Dude, I saw some... I saw some smaller ones in there. You see that beautiful jump? Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, that what that big splash was? You want me to open the bail? Let me drive the boat up to him really fast. Yeah. He's real shallow. Yeah, bro. Well, that's what they do when they know they're around. Like he's trying to get on the shore. Yeah. That's how shallow he is. Oh, crap. Do you have that one thing for the bottom of the rod? He's going to land himself. Pull on him really hard. Pull on him hard? Yeah, that way we can catch him in his green. You know what I mean? Yeah. That uh, gives him a good chance. Yes. I'll get the phone. Or it's probably easy right here. Just grab it. Bring it yourself right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Fuck, we almost got a leader on him, Ori. Yeah, what do you think? This guy's at 80, 90 pounds? Yeah, probably 80, 75, 80. He's a nice one. Dude, I'd love to get in the water and take a picture with him, but... Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> if you want to, but here, look. See what it's I'm okay. looking at right here? Yeah. Look down the beach. Look to the north. Look in here. Do you see the shore? Right by the shore? Yeah. So unfortunately, we did spot a most unwelcome guest that randomly showed up just now on the beach. Uh, we are determined to land this fish, but not at the cost of losing them. So we are keeping an eye on those sharks. And things almost went bad. 
Uh, when it went south, it went south quick. But I'm not too experienced in this situation. But all I know is I didn't want to see the fish get eaten either. I'm going to try to get this in fast, all right? Do you want me to palm it? He's off. He's off. No, no, he's not. There's going that way. Do you want me to break it? Yeah, we caught him. Okay. He made it. He made it. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. You don't need her yes. down there. I touched Dude, it. yes, we got it. <laughs> dude, it's fucking intense fishing, man. Like, dude, dude, yes. Thank dude, you so dude, much, like, dude. That tarpon was jumping up on the beach. Bro. Yeah, he came so shallow. I was talking about swimming. I know, I see it. I was talking about swimming him, getting in the water. I was like, yeah, I don't know. You're missing some brain cells. <laughs> I, I've been wanting to get that photo, though. I know. But this yeah, is, this just ain't the day bro, go. this this place is fucking crazy, man. It, it's like Jurassic Park here. So what happened there is we had the fish run towards the beach. Um, in order to preserve these fish, we don't want to see these fish get eaten by sharks and stuff. So we ended up cupping the spool, breaking the fish off, and the fish got away. And so it's it's the best thing so we don't lose these uh, fish to sharks and stuff because there was a few sharks around, and uh, so. That was that's what's best for the fish so uh, we're gonna try to get after some more tarpon stay tuned and uh, see you in a little bit so not a really ideal finish to the fight uh, it was kind of a close call there but fortunately that fish did get away from the shark the last thing you want to do if you see a shark uh, harassing the fish is to keep it on the line because you're only going to kill the fish or bring up half of the fish so there's no point we broke it off got rid of it so what you're seeing in these few shots here is some fish we found later in the day and they were just as massive schools and we were rewarded with some really good action unfortunately I missed a lot of jumps but a lot of white water blow ups here from tarpon jumping we were putting them up in the air like crazy the action was insane Yeah, this is freaking sick, dude. Yeah, it's the biggest schools in the year by far, man. Fish on. Nice. Oh, he, he jumped, he popped. So we have had quite the action here. We've put oh quite God. a few fish in the air and everyone is shaking the hook. But the skies are turning dark and you know that feeling you get when the breeze turns cold. It is time to get out. And that's exactly that what we were preparing to do, and no, then this off. happened. No, he's not. He's not off. <laughs> he 
keep going crazy. Fish on again. Dude, I saw him flash on it, bro. And he's a big ass one too. He's not he's not a small one at all. He's going straight towards the beach, man. Yeah, I'm with him. Oh, you got that one. I need to grab that one thing. Ooh, this is a heavy one, man. Yeah, we're getting pretty low, man. I'm not kidding. Really low. You probably only got. Yeah, you're getting to the mono. Wow, no, you're getting to some type of knot there. Yeah, it's fine. 200 more yards wide after that. Just so I just go straight braid the whole way. Oh, okay. So I can hold like. Do you put a uh, tape on it? On it? No, I, I just wrap it around a couple times before I tie my knot. But yeah, otherwise, if you don't use tape or wrap it around, like the knot, you like can't cinch it down. You know? Dude, I saw that fish flash on this, bro. Yeah, sick, yeah. Like that's a, that's your traditional minnow bite. I saw a big old flash on it. It's fucking sick, bro. Yeah, and then you just reel. And then for whatever reason this one stayed on. So do you if if there's a situation with the shark or something, you want me to cup it? Yeah, same thing the last one. Okay. What's up with my bobber? It's just got grass on it. No, I mean it's way up here. Oh, I don't know, it just slid up. Probably that resistance in the grass. Yeah. You know like we've jumped a couple of fish, like the bobbers get a little like hollowed out yeah so um, will it slide down though yeah it probably will yeah if it slid up it should slide down it's right up by this there's rain coming oh yeah no we get this fish we ought to fucking bounce it's gonna get bad yeah know? um if you want i can bust it off not yet no but because oh i don't think that bobber's going is it not moving yeah no it's moving <laughs> they got a better side of the tarp. He's off. He's off. Okay, no, he's not. no, he's not. What's going on? He might have been wrapped around that kid's fucking leg. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Something's. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Let me put that up here in the air. Let me see your tip. Just the tip of the rod. Yeah, just walk backwards so you can kind of keep tight. Yeah, dude. I don't want to get in that. It's okay. It's not even really... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to get in the rain. We should pull up, see what this fish looks like, and bounce, man. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. If you want, I mean. Where's the rain at? It's not far. The wind just picked up. Of course, the, <laughs> going right towards those people. Yeah. Dude, the fish, these fish love to go to the beach. He's gonna swim into them. I'm not gonna yell. I don't wanna scare him. You want me to see if I can go this way? He's going right into them. I'm gonna try to go this way.
going right in between those people. Now, I'm gonna try to pull them this way. All right, I gave it a couple clicks. Yeah, I got all kinds of shit on my line. It's probably, yeah, it's I hope it's not fraying up your line, man. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're dodging people now. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Yeah. He's about to jump. There he goes. He's rolling. You want to try, tighten it out just a tad bit more? It's really tight. Those glass rods have a lot of forgiveness. That's, I use like kind of wonky rods for that reason. Dude, this one's a really big one, bro. He's 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 over 150, I think. He's a huge one. I'm putting a lot of heat on this fish too. I try to put a little bit more heat on them. I don't want to bust them off, but I'm gonna to try to end the fight so we don't get caught up in a rainstorm. Damn. Right on the surface being really resistant. So there is a big storm that's somewhat behind us. It's kind of sprinkling, so uh, we're putting some good heat on this fish and we're gonna try to get him off as soon as possible. The only issue is, is he is a really, really, really big fish. But he's not gonna come in easily. I can already tell this is a stubborn fish. He's right at the surface there. Oh, I'm just, I'm talking to the camera. Tighten up a little bit more. Okay. I gave it three more clicks. Yeah, give it like five more. 
There you go. Yeah. Catch them up here. There's no sharks around right now. We can get a fish in the water. I got a lot of heat on them. resistant. If I give it any more pressure, it's going to break. See if I can kind of... Nope. He's a resistant one. So unfortunately this does happen in tarpon fishing from time to time, the sharks come and harass the fish and that's exactly what happened here. We did react real quick, we busted the fish off immediately and this fish did survive. I'll show you that in a little bit but right now we need to get out of here there's some really dark skies right behind us. We drove off to the area where we did see the splashing and you can see my fish coming up right there. He's swimming off. That was my tarpon that we broke off. Uh, so thankfully he swam away and it sucks that I didn't get to land him, but at least we evaded the shark for the second time that day. Not to mention that big storm as well. So I didn't have enough time to do a proper outro because it started pouring at the dock, but I want to give a big shout out to Captain Clark. I've fished with him in the past and we have put just a tremendous amount of tarpon in the air together. This guy is a really good tarpon fisherman. It is insane how many tarpon he catches. This was a guided trip. Uh, so if you're interested in fishing for tarpon, get out there with Captain Clark. I highly recommend it. He's made me a better tarpon fisherman. You'll definitely get tarpon with this guy. It's incredible how good he is at it. It's something else. What a trip it was, guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>